How would you feel if you go back to your husband with no hair and no sideburns? We could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I do want to start off by saying that I know I've been MIA for two, three weeks now. Um, and if you do not follow me on my social media, then you would not know that I was almost dying. Um, I was really, really, really sick um, last two weeks. And long story short, I had to get like seven shots, five antibiotics. And I was doing horrible. I didn't go to work. But I'm doing better now. And last week, I was actually doing like super super better but um i really used last week as kind of still like my recovery um after having like two horrible weeks of just being in bed and um i was also trying to catch up on getting my voice back i had lost my voice and i really just used that time for me time you know um also trying to get fresh ideas to put here in my channel Anywho, today's video is gonna be a story time of the worst moment one of my worst moments ever um so yeah if you want to know what my story time is about keep watching it's about to start right now so Many of y'all do know, many of y'all don't, but back then, a um, couple of years ago, I used to do cosmetology. I, was, I went to cosmetology school, and um, oh, I have so many stories of cosmetology. Anyways, so this one actually happened in school. So, whenever you go to cosmetology school, everything is... Um, every time you clock in, it is counted by hours, kind of like work. It's by hours. And um, you do have to complete 1,500 hours to graduate cosmetology school. And when this happened, I was at 500 hours. So I had already mastered, that's what they used to call it, mastered a woman's haircut. But I had no idea how to do a man's haircut yet. And in cosmetology, you first have to go through the theory of it. You have to go through the book, do some tests, and then it's hands-on. So, um, yeah. So, I was barely doing, like, the, the, hold on, Mike, this is way too loud. I was barely doing the theory of a man's haircut, how to do a clip, uh, a man's haircut, a clipper cut, um, edge rubs, all of that, all of that good stuff, and, okay, so every time you missed a day or you wanted to get extra, extra hours, you would go on a Saturday, school was only Monday through Friday, so I had actually missed one of those weekdays, and I had to go and get those hours back on that Saturday, now I hated going on a Saturday because there was this teacher that we did not get along, like, we never clicked. She hated me. I hated her. The feeling was mutual. Like, we, it was, like, I couldn't stand her and she couldn't stand me. Okay? So, oh, yeah. As soon as I come in, I clock in, I go to my station, and I'm trying to take everything out of this little box that we used to carry to put our shears, our blow dryers, and all that good stuff. <coughs> she comes and she's like, you have a haircut. Now, mind you that... People used to go and get their haircuts, get their nails done, get their facials done there at that school. Now, they those people knew what they were getting themselves into, first of all, because in school, okay? They knew that we were just students, we were barely learning. Now, whenever they did send people to do haircuts, they would try and send you, like, the best people or people who had more hours, people who are about to graduate. But this teacher hated me so much that she didn't care if I was at 500 hours, 100 hours, or 1,200 hours. She would send, like, she always sended me and gave me the worst customers, clients ever. So, yeah, this is what happened. So she's like, you have a haircut, and I was like, what? I was like, I just clocked in. They've been here before me, and there was already some people there. And she's like, I don't care. It's your haircut. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh my god. 
And then I saw I saw that it said like a clipper cut or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I, I can't do clipper cuts yet. She's like, well, you're going to learn today. And I'm like, well, no, because I don't know how to do it. And she's like, well, you're going to do it today. And I was like, oh, my God, okay, you know. So I go and get on my towels and stuff that I'm going to use for him. And I kind of sneak it to see who it was. And, it, and I saw it was this guy. He was <laughs> wearing like a soccer outfit and I was like okay well he doesn't look like that bad you know like if I actually messed up his hair like I know like he's not gonna try to beat me up or anything so I go and I you know present myself to him and I was like oh hi my name is Myra and he's like you speak Spanish I was like yeah I was like good he's a Hispanic man you know <laughs> and he, like I mean, of course, I know Spanish and English, but I would much rather just talk in Spanish. Um, so, he's like, oh, okay, mira, muchacha, yo nada más quiero un, un dos en todo mi pelo. Y quiero que me cortes aquí un poco las orillas y es todo, nada más. And I'm like, ah, oh, okay, bien fácil, yo le corto el pelo así bien de volada. Bueno, I sat him down, I put his cape on and I put his towel on. And um, <laughs> I grab my clippers, right? And then I grab one of the little head clippers. I don't know what you call them. And then I was like, wait, this this looks too big for a two. And I look at it and it said three. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm like, okay, two. Oh, okay. As soon as I was going to put it in, that teacher, she's like, Myra, come here. And I was like, no. She's like, come here. And I was like, okay. So I put my clippers and all that good stuff down and... I go to where she was, and she's like, if you need me, let me know. And I'm like, I need you. She was like, Ugh. and I was like, oh, my God. So rude. And don't tell me that if so, I need you. So, my lighting just went, because the sun is, like, right here in my window. Anyway, so, and then, um, I went back to my station. <laughs> and I grabbed my clipper. I put it in the clipper thingy. And I'm like, okay. So he's telling me how he was gonna go to soccer after this. And I was like, ah, mira que bien. And I'm like, Err. and I was like, <gasps> and he's like, what happened? You know, que paso? And like, there's like this big old mirror right in front of him. Like, you can, you can like see exactly my face in that moment. And he was like, what happened? I was like, oh. <gasps> I was like, oh my god. So I look at my clippers. I didn't even, like, try to fake it. Like, I couldn't even, like, make another face or fake that I was not shocked. And, like, like let's say this was the clipper or something. I was like, oh. And then he's like, what happened? You know, que paso? And I'm like, I was like, oiga, es que le puse un uno. And, like, I was mad, like, I was, like, mad, like, my reaction was so off, like, I was mad, I was shocked, I was upset, and, like, I got really hot, and, like, girl, look at these cheeks, they got really red, and you could tell, and then I have big old eyeballs, so my eyeballs went even, like, bigger in the moment, and I'm, like, oh, my God, so he, like, touched me, he's, like, oh, and I'm like, oh my god, disculpe, o sea, en serio, no sé qué pasó, espéreme, ahorita lo arreglamos porque lo arreglamos. So I go and get the teacher and I'm like, miss, miss, like, and I, and she was in the back and I'm like, you see, that's why I told her I didn't want to do the haircut. I told her that I was going to mess up. She's like, calm down, what happened? He wanted a two all over. Yeah, but I messed it up. She's like, did you not check your clipper thingy? And I was like. Obviously not. I wouldn't be here right now if I would have. So, she comes with me to check it out. And then she's like, oh. And I was like, oh. And then he's like, yeah, está corto. It's so short. And I was like, oh. And then he's like, um. She's like, well, tell him that what I could do for him is kind of just faded in. So, we will do a two all over, like, at the bottom, like a taper fade. I mean, a one, and then faded into a two. 
So I'm like, oh, you guys skip that, da, 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 and I was telling him, and then he was like, no, that's fine, just do a, a one all over, and I'm like, you sure? He's like, yeah, it's okay, and I'm like, you sure? He's like, si, sí, esta bien, hombre, es que yo no soy picky, and I'm like, oh my god, so she's like, what happened, I'm, and like, I'm telling the teacher, you know, no, that he just wants a one all over, and she's like, you sure? Because I could fix it, and he was like, no, I was like, okay, we'll do a one. I felt so bad, like, it was so horrible, and, like, when I was done, he, I mean, come on, if you're a dude, you, it's super short, a two is super short, I mean, a one, if you wanted a two, you know, and his little ears were pointing, like, were pointing out, and I was like, oh my god, like, what did I know, I'm such a horrible person, so, Okay, so after that, it gets, it gets, it gets worse, it gets, it gets worse. So, and then, he's like, okay, just do the, do my edges, right? Okay. So, let's say, this is, this is my guitar thing, by the way. So, I go right, and I'm like, okay, right here, he wants it half of the ear, and I'm like, okay. I go in there, I'm like, <gasps> he's like, like, I could just see his face, he was like, what que pasó? He's like, oh, está corto. And like, I went like above his, like it wasn't above his ear. It was like right in the, like right by the ear. He's like, oh, está corto. No te preocupes, está bien. He was so nice about it. I was like, oh my God. So I'm doing the other side. Oh my God, girl. Like, it gets worse. So I'm like, okay. <gasps> oh. I, w girl, I went above the ear. I'm talking about like that. So, if you know cosmetology, now you know that I had to get the other side to be even, even on the other side. So, the poor man left with no sideburns. He was bald with no sideburns. Okay, so I I, I get in the mirror, I turn him around so he can see it. It was it was horrible, but he was so so nice about it. He was like, "Oh, it doesn't even look that bad." I don't know why my camera just kind of fell on me. He was like, no, it's not that bad. Like, don't worry about it. And I was like, no, oiga, que vergüenza, mire. No me jamás, like, perdóneme, discúlpeme. Lo dejé pelón y sin sideburns para acabarla. He's like, no, no, muchacho, no te preocupes, está bien. And I was like, no, you know that I'm sorry. Like, I don't know, like, what happened. I guess I was just kind of distracted. He was like, no, don't worry about it. You know, accidents happen. And then I was like, I'm so sorry, y'all. He left me a $5 tip. A $5 tip. I was not accepting it. I was like, no, no se lo voy a tomar. Oiga, mira como lo dejé. Lo dejó el pelón. Y sin sideburns para acabarla. No, no, no. And he was like, no, no, muchachos. Es que no es tu culpa. Like, yo sabía que esto era una escuela. Pero como estoy deprisa. Porque voy a jugar el soccer. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, we need more people like you in this world. So, he left. <laughs> and I'm sweeping up the hair that his whole hair that I cut off poor man and you could tell he did not like it you could tell he, you could tell that inside he was really upset about it but he wasn't you letting feel me know if you go back to your husband with no hair and no sideburns oh, after oh that I would say months, couple of months later, because I was already at 1,200 hours, when I seen him again, and his wife was getting a pedicure there, so they knew it was a school. I seen him, and he's like, Hola, muchacha, tú me cortaste mi pelo. And I'm like, Oiga, mira, se mira bien, mono con su nuevo mohawk. He had like a little, like, it sounds bad, but a little Mexican mohawk going on. Um, and the two lines right here. And I'm like, Ay, oiga, qué vergüenza. Todavía me acuerdo y me da una pena. He's like, no, hombre. And I'm like... <laughs> so, 
I knew his wife knew that I, I was the one who jacked up his hair because she he told me, oh, you know, that's my wife getting a pedicure. I turn around to see her and she's like, I was like, oh, she knew I left his husband bald with no sideburns. She knew it was me. And, but he wasn't mad about it or he wasn't acting dumb about it. And he left me a tip and he paid the school. Other people would have tried to, you know, get free stuff out of that situation and not given me a tip, gone off on me or anything. But he literally didn't, didn't say anything mean to me, bad to me. <laughs> at least, at least not to my face. I don't know what happened. That's very embarrassing. At the moment, it was really bad. In the moment, it was horrible. Like, I felt really bad. I had so much anxiety because of it. But now when I think about it, I laugh really hard because I'm like, I could have handled that situation better. I could have, one, look at my dumb clipper again before I put it in. Two, I could have calmed my facial expressions down a bit, you know, and not kind of like <gasps> freak out on him so quickly. Um, but overall, it was one of the experience, one of the experience I went through in cosmetology school. Trust me, I have way more. But that one still haunts me to this day, and I think it's so funny. And I feel so bad for that guy. And if I see him now, I'll be like, you don't worry about it. I'll stop cosmetology. <laughs> so, I'm just really thankful that God placed someone, I guess, warm-hearted, you know, that didn't go off on me, didn't tell me off, didn't, you know, try to fight me or anything. He kind of actually took it and he was just like, okay, well, you know what, accidents happen, you know. And he gave me a tip. And he still paid the school. and But yeah, guys. So, I really hope you enjoyed this very embarrassing story of me. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If hey, guys. So, my phone completely died when I was um, doing my videos. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can go ahead and look at all my upcoming videos. I love y'all very much. Stay beautiful. And I'll see y'all till next week. Bye.